myself in nothing else so happy as in a soul remembering my good friends. Hi. I'm going to be talking about Shakespeare's friends. Well, let me start by introducing Kate Pogue's very useful and informative book on the subject. I'm going to start, as she does, with the Quinies. Richard Quiney and William Shakespeare were friends, as were their respective fathers and grandfathers, going back through three generations. And into the fourth generation, their children, they were more than friends. They actually married each other. Quiney wrote the, uh, the only letter we have relating to Shakespeare, and basically he's asking to borrow money, £30, which would be somewhere in the region of $5,000 in today's money. Also among Quiney's correspondence is a letter from his 11-year-old son written in Latin, which tells us something about the level of culture and education in the Quiney family. Since Quiney's son would have studied, like Shakespeare, at King's New School in Stratford, this is also an indication of the level of classical training that Shakespeare himself, like other grammar school children of that period, would have received. I won't talk about all of Shakespeare's Stratford friends because, as you can see, there were quite a lot of them. But I'll talk about several of them, and the next one will be a mutual friend of Shakespeare's and Quiney's, Shakespeare's cousin, Thomas Green. <laughs> 